when we got married we moved to Adel and we kept having a baby every time I did a, I had my babies at home so I had a baby in a house in Adel and we moved to uh, Bardsey and I had Lulu my second child then we moved to the old vicarage in Micklefield and I had Daniel so we just kind of kept moving then we moved to Coventry and then Terry went to Spurs so we had a clubhouse in London then we went to Vancouver and it just you know went on like that I mean Terry was um, not only manager of Wales but he was later manager of Lebanon so we had two different places in Beirut. 84, came back to this house, um, you know, so I mean there's been seven of us living here at um, one point when all the kids were at home and everything and you know when I got here I just said I'm staying, this is where I want to be, it, it, This I just knew this was my home, my forever home. But I always say don't think I'll make your house look like this because this is the story of my life, you know, I mean I've collected things over years and I know when I'm gone my kids are going to go, oh my god I should have all this stuff for. We've travelled, you know, I mean I bought quite a bit of furniture in Thailand and shipped it back and um, you know, I've, I've bought various things when I've been travelling or accumulated and just, you know, I mean I, the, the headboard and the palmet over my bed, I bought, well I bought the, the headboard I bought from a garage in Old Woodley when I went to see something else and I went, oh I love that and the guy sold it to me. And there's a palmet over the bed which is sort of gold leaf and draped, which was in a house I looked at in Leamington Spa when we lived in Coventry. Yeah. We didn't buy the house, but I asked them if they'd sell me that and they did. <laughs> so <laughs> like a sort of upholstery I have made bespoke, so I don't ever buy settees in shops. Um, I think I would always have a lot of stuff around me. I like it tidy, you know, I like my home tidy and I like it clean, um, but I'm not a minimalist at all. You know, it's, Louise said, mum's style is add, add, add. <laughs> uh, but I, I'm not comfortable in minimal interiors. If I start off with comfort and storage and get those two things right when I'm doing an interior, the rest can follow on. And I, I always work with well, how my clients live, what my clients want, and what their lifestyle is. So I was a beauty therapist and at the time I went mobile, um, which would be the early 70s, the clients that I had were all very wealthy women with very large houses, wives of captains of industry. I think it's always been there as an interest so it doesn't surprise me what I'm doing. But you love your work, don't you? I absolutely love what I do, yeah.